What's up, my shining stars? Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Talking to you. What's up, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. You know that light, that beautiful light that you have. That light is your destiny. That light is your purpose. People are walking around looking for you. What Are you going to be shining? Are you going to be dim where they can't find you? It's totally, totally up to you. But you need to know that that light is very, very important. And you let, you let nothing, nobody stop that light. All right? With that being said, my name is Trinity and welcome to my channel, All About the Healing for my ride and dies that's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you guys. Thank you. All your encouraging, beautiful, beautiful comments. Your emojis, oh, I just love them. They're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You know, each each and every comment and emoji, you know, I like the emojis and you guys just really lay it on thick and I love it, right? All right, so my new subscribers, mwah, 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 mwah. welcome to the family phenomenal family we're gonna be rocking and we're gonna be moving and we're gonna learn things and we're gonna be make cry we may you may get mad with me whatever it is we still family right welcome to the family we're gonna do this thing mwah, mwah, mwah. for my energy exchange donations tips whatever you want to call it thank you right because what you sow on this channel you shall reap this is not sowing and sowing and giving it to somebody and it, you don't get nothing back no this is sowing i'm giving you my energy i'm giving you my time i'm allowing becoming one with spirit so i can give to you and you in turn gives back to me and when you give back to me and you sow unto me spirit is so spirit is so in tune with me that you guys are actually giving to spirit so he and when you give the spirit you reaping what you sow you sow into something sow into something that is positive that is good right so you get it that back on the flip side for those of you i feel sorry for you those of you that have been sending the evil eye confusion spells trying to cause sickness trying to cause havoc evil eye hoodoo voodoo centuria all that kind of stuff you sending that to my channel sending that to uh my family members sending that to my car sending that to wherever you can think that you can send it it ain't gonna work it ain't worked i'm still standing no matter what you do no matter what you send i'm still standing royalty priesthood higher 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 standing on my throne not letting you let you or anybody else block my blessings that come to me just know that i have to take time to address you and let you know it ain't gonna work and i'm returning it back to you right where it's spirit deemed necessary to take that energy and put it where it needs to go. All right? But I give it to you and let spirit deal with you. All right? It is so, so be it. Ah, Shay. All right. So we are on the side of Scorpio. Bam! There it is, Scorpio. All right. Scorpio, what we got going on today? is why are you not moving moving forward now a lot of people say i'm moving i'm doing that you know this ain't me right I, everything good you moving you may be moving and you moving in one in one aspect of your life but you lacking in another spirit is saying 2022 we're to move forward in every aspect of our lives. Love, money, spirit, purpose. 
We're to move forward in our destiny, our purpose, who we are, what we here for. We're to learn the lessons and move forward. We're not to stay stuck. We're not to stay in a um, distracted by people, places, and things that want to come in and take and throw up illusions and try to um, trick you and try to seduce you to do other things instead of focus on moving forward. But we're here today to see what is actually going on. Now, I'm going to be honest. This right here is about love. So, right off the bat, why is going to be, why are you not moving forward in love? Because this is love, flat out. This is, this is not all the scenarios. This is love. What is the root issue? What is the root of the issue? Why am I not seeing that? Why am I not seeing that the uh the need Lord? What am I not seeing that needs to be changed? They don't want me to they don't want me to get this out, but I always tell you, I don't care. I can mumble the words, uh flip it and dip it and look silly. I really don't care at the end of the day, as long as the message get out and you get it, that's all that matters. So, like I said, the overall energy, this is why. The overall energy is the temple path. This this right here, this uh, card, if you look at it, you can see. Because here's the soulmate emblem right here, yin and the yang. This right here, the way I explain this card, is the level you, you, you meet up here with your person. The yin and the yang meet, meets right here. This is the going up the temple path. This is level to level, faith to faith, but we, we doing this together. And then right here, you, you, uh, once you go up the level to level, you learn the lessons together, and then you graduate, and here's the temple where you do the mission together. You, your counterpart, and the divine, the Holy Trinity, right? Because we know Son, Father, and Holy Ghost, but we become one with the divine together as a divine counterpart, divine connection, right? There's the nose again. Ugh. All right, so listen. trying to do the readings where I get something different, something that you can get, that you can grasp hold to. So, why are you not moving forward? And that's my note I keep looking at because I'm going to stay there i'm not going to try to because last reading i just it just went all left i mean spirit just took it a whole nother level but why are you not moving forward it's because of a divine connection something is something something that let's be real okay so it's, it's divine connection something in love why you're not moving forward is because you're connected to another person that you're supposed to meet right here. You're supposed to meet this person right here. Now, um, these cards is telling me something else. Okay, so it's you're supposed to meet a divine masculine. So a masculine energy could be male or female. So you fit the masculine energy whichever way. But it's a masculine. This person is in their masculine, masculine el element. This is the yang. The yang. All right? So... This person is supposed to meet you here, okay? You're supposed to have this, go let, meet here, commit to going up these levels together and be one with, with spirit. That was the plan. That was the contract. That was the thing. Somebody got, this divine master got caught up, got distracted, and have some type of addictions, Okay? 
I have addictions. I am getting over my alcohol addictions, love. Some Somebody's uh, uh, addicted to love. Somebody's addicted to food, sex, drugs. All of these things is excess. It doesn't mean that just because it's food that it's anything less uh, than drugs or alcohol, right? Food can take you to a whole nother level, right? And that it's not about the, the thing. It's about the addiction, the access, what it does to your body, what it does to your mindset, what it does to your spirit, right? That's what this is about. That's what addiction is about. So a masculine has addictions that they need to deal with. This person here has not met you and fit you where you want to get it in, has not met you at this place, at, have not met you at the on the temple path. They have not met you. You have rendered judgment. You have rendered judgment on this person because they did not meet you. The contract has been voided. The contract has been null, null and void. All right? You no longer are willing to wait on this individual is what I mean when I say null and void. But null and void is what I mean because you're not willing. You have to have free will. Free will to be connected. Free will to stand and wait. Free will to... Now, let me be clear because some of you going to get in the comments and say, let me be clear. I'm only talking to people who are waiting for the divine counterpart. You're 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 wait that somebody that was is waiting or somebody that was waiting for that counterpart and now has moved on and refused to continue to wait on someone when they are riddled with addictions, can't make a decision. Um, they're, they just not, they're not needed. They're not going to come. They're not going to work on their issues to meet you. They don't, they don't see that it is a, it's essential. It's, it's essential is, is, is detrimental that they meet you at this temple path that's why you waited. That's why you was insistent. That's why you put all your blood, sweat, and tears in you and trying to wait and try to learn and try to um, get yourself together so you can meet this person on this temple path. But this person, they still stuck. They won't, they won't deal with their issues. They won't deal with their issues. They won't deal with their pain. They won't get over these addictions. Yeah, and sex, right? Sex addictions. So you render judgment and you walked away and you refuse to go wait. You, you refuse to continue to wait for this person, okay? Now, that's the scenario. Let's get back to the questions. Why are you not moving forward? Well, it's 2022. Some of you have just now made the decision some of you have just because this is an important union this is important some of you have just walked away and i'm not talking about the ones that walked away and said oh walked away said they walked away but in their heart in their mind they still was with that person. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about people who have truly was standing here waiting to meet up. Was standing here for months, standing here for years, standing here for uh, uh, days and weeks, waiting on this person to get their self together, waiting on this person to get their issues together so you guys can be together. So... You was not moving forward because this this person, the divine masculine, was not willing to meet you at your level, to meet you at the place. 
So you could not move forward. You could not go forward because you still was waiting in some type of capacity. Now, these readings right here, I'm seeing that spirit is talking through me because spirit knows I don't know. I'm, I do the reading and I, 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 re, I read the energy, but these readings right here, spirit is calling out, calling you out because spirit is wanting you to this year get out of pretending, get out of an illusion that you are, are, are in one place when, when you really are in another place. Spirit knows it. I don't. Spirit knows the truth. Spirit knows your heart. Spirit knows your mind. Don't get in the comments talking about, um, well, I, I moved on. I don't know. Don't get in the comments. I'm not talking to you then. I'm talking to people. I, people that I'm talking to, they know what I'm talking about. Because this is between you and spirit. I am not involved in this. You are not moving forward because you're still in a waiting and a holding pattern. Now, you speak, you show, but deep inside of you, you're still at a waiting pattern. You still looking at twin flame readings. You still looking at soulmate readings to find out if this person has let go of somebody. Is this person over their addictions? What's actually going on with this person? Some of you are. Some of you has let go of all of that twin flame stuff, soulmate stuff, and you really are looking forward to find somebody to find your next love but spirit is saying deep down inside of you you still got something that you need to heal concerning this divine masculine then thirdly the reason why you're not moving forward this is in love is because this divine masculine is doing magic is doing um manipulation trying to is trying to send you um it may not be magic but magic is still all of that manipulation sending you all kind of um energy projecting energy off on you and if you don't know how to protect yourself if you don't know how to um put a shield around you then you will be affected and if you are affected then that energy is around you and that energy if you have that energy around you that is what keeps you from moving forward so it's in those scenarios is what the answer to that question is what is the root of the issue the root of the issue is that this person it's not working on their issues. They have addictions. And if we was doing tarot, this would be the devil. This They are in devil energy. They are in toxic energy that they are not working themselves out of. They don't know how to get out of or they don't want to get out of. We already know that. This has been reading after reading about this person, this divine masculine right um or this karmic person this person was this person here but this person here is no this person here is not a karmic this person here was your counterpart but they chose because each each counterpart can make a choice it's free will it's two souls coming together freely not somebody that's coerced or somebody that's under a spell or somebody no two people coming together freely that love to have a bond and love each other this was what's supposed to be happening but somehow this person got stuck and got distracted and caught up in something that they could not get out of 
left you waiting you render judgment when you render judgment spirit looks at the situation and whoever is unjustified whoever is not willing to honor the commitment honor the contract then spirit he sees fit i can't tell you what what spirit gonna do every situation is different but you you render judgment on that spirit to look at it and he will deal with it once you render judgment it's up to spirit and everybody's different every situation is different everybody has done different things so that's how that go what am i not seeing that needs to be changed What you're not seeing that needs to be changed is that something within you is in a holding and waiting pattern. You're waiting, not in your mind, not in your heart, maybe in your subconscious mind, maybe um, in a dream state, something that is that you're unaware about. And don't forget what I said. If you are a person who is not looking at readings and wishing and hoping and all of that, then it could be in the other scenarios. Something is being projected off to you that is around you, some type of energy. His, this person's energy is around you and it's blocking you from moving forward. You have to learn how to protect your energy. You have to learn how to project, protect your thoughts in your mind. You have to, if you are a spiritual person, learn how to protect your crown and your third eye so you can see clearly. You can see what you're supposed to see and not what somebody else wants you to see, okay? Okay, and because this was love, I went ahead 22 minutes. We got to go. Um, and went on ahead, so this is love. I went on ahead and got some love notes. This person wants you to know, please don't hate me for ghosting you. You didn't deserve it. So if you are, you are in a situation where you are sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting year, months, weeks, days for this person and this person never showed up. They ghosted you, but you knew that you had a connection. You knew that this was your divine counterpart, right? You knew this. This person is wanting to tell you they that they this is what you know that please don't hate them they they ghosted you you didn't deserve it so with this being said you could take this information and you can just let this go let this go for those of you that still holding on and really don't know you holding on let let it go acknowledge it deal with it and let it go i'm sorry i'm really sorry about everything this person want to let you know that they really sorry that they did not show up for you. They really sorry that they did not show up for the connection. They really sorry that they did not honor the the contract. They're really sorry that they didn't um, choose you to 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 go up to to um, take this um, connection to another level. They really sorry that they um, did not honor you and treat you the way you deserve to be treated all right so this has been your reading um hit the comments let me know scorpio you know i love you guys you always there you always showing out and i just love each and every one of you um thumbs up thumbs down just thumbs the video guys um it doesn't matter it helps it right helps the video helps uh helps us grow um, share, 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 put it on your blog, put it on your website, put it, uh, you know, um, on your uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, put it out there so others can see. And remember that when you put it out there, that person that you have on your mind, or, um, this is, it's a way that you could get this information to them. If you post it, you know, they watching you, they're going to see the video, right? All right. So, and thirdly, uh, if you're here for the first time, go to the description box. All the information is there. The social media is there as well. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing away. And Trinity is 